Let's step outside the studio and learn how to make anything a percussion instrument. Obviously, we can use our hands, and that's probably the best place to start because you can do it anywhere. In the car, waiting for dinner, at school. Huh. So basically, if you practiced your six basic grooves, quarter note groove, right, boat, right, boat. Notice I can even put my feet in with it. Right, both, right, both. If I wanted to practice my fills, I can make each part of my leg one of the drums. Snare, small tom, medium tom, floor tom. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, and so on. I can also use clapping as another form of percussion. Percussion means striking something with either your hand, a stick, a mallet, or almost anything. How about pencils? Now, if we take the pencils, obviously we can use them to hit almost anything at a nice soft volume. I like to take a few simple things you might have around the house, a pencil holder, a Hershey can, of course I ate the goodies, and filled it with some pennies, and yes, a little cardboard box. So I can practice my grooves, practice my fills. Obviously I don't have four different drums, but I could make four different sounds. The whole idea is to learn how to practice the groove, the pattern, lights, all four, as well as move from drum or instrument or percussion toy smoothly to the next one. We don't want to be doing this, that's too jerky. As the left hand is being played, the right hand moves. Now, in terms of learning our grooves, and you're serious about becoming a drummer or percussionist, I'd go out and buy a pair of sticks. They're starting at about five bucks, up to maybe $20 for the more elaborate type of stick. I like these because it has the little grip on it. A friend of mine started out a company called Unigrip. Now, in terms of putting the sticks onto something, we can still, again, use our legs. Let's look at what we can do with a couple of buckets. Here's a small one. I bought a plant in this. Oh, would have thrown it away. The old $1 bucket at the dollar store. And you can't go wrong with a couple of buckets from Home Depot. They're only about three bucks. Let's just start out with two plain buckets. You can see my feet are on the side, allowing me to practice my feet patterns for now, which is right, both, right, both. Quarter no crew, eighth note. So now, I can create all kinds of different sounds just within these two buckets. I can also create different sounds from different parts of the bucket in the same space of my drum set. Now it's 
important to be able to apply good technique, and we've gone over that in one of the other lessons, but basically, pick up your stick and freeze. Notice how the thumb generally becomes straight like the stick. I supported the stick with my fingers. I left a little bit of space in here because I didn't think of it as a weapon or a baseball bat maybe, but more like a tool or an instrument to be able to use comfortably. Shoulders relaxed, back straight, arms straight, hands flat, fingers wrapped around the stick in the first joint if you can. That's usually an easier way to control the stick. Thumb straight like the stick and a little bit of space in between your palm and the stick. Technically there is no wrong technique but there are better techniques. Remember, it's not the size of the drum set, it's the ability to get around the drum set. So if I'm leading, in this case with my right hand, then I can get around the drums pretty easily. Now let's look at melodic percussion, percussion instruments that make a pitch. I like this the best because it's more like the vibraphone, marimba, or steel drum, which I also play. Notice I can also practice putting my feet in, right, both, right, both. Sometimes having a little pitch also gives the instrument a little bit more excitement. I'm using an ordinary frying pan and a couple of chalices that I bought at a thrift store for probably about a buck. This is my favorite. It sounds like a Tibetan gong. Very healing. I can also add less melodic sounding instruments, which are also metallic. Notice you can create a lot of different interesting melodic sounds based on the rhythm, the tempo, and the instrument. at how we can make shakers out of almost anything. Mini shakers using little leftover Altoid containers. For a slightly louder sound, I use the bigger version. Who doesn't love Altoids? I basically make these shakers out of any container using popcorn kernels. Every Easter, I go to the grocery store and buy these leftover eggs, and they make the greatest shakers. I add a little bit of popcorn kernels, well, maybe about halfway full, cover it with the other side, voila. I use these in my professional gigs. You can also play all your different grooves. Quarter note, eighth note, triplet, fifteen, both can shuffle, string. They're a great tool to have. You can also put those popcorn kernels in anything. A plastic water bottle. That'll continue.
container, the ostrich egg. You can also find these at the grocery store for 50 cents after Easter. Last but not least, let's take a look at what we can do with cardboard. You can get a cardboard box from almost any grocery store. And depending on the size, it has a different pitch, which makes it interesting. You can also get cardboard tubes, which make a different pitch. If you use them as your drumsticks, Notice I can practice all my grooves, chord and note, eighth note, shuffle, broken, swing, and also the sixteenth note groove. If I make each one of the cardboard boxes a drum, I can practice my fills. comes from putting everything together. We've got metallic, cardboard, plastic. I can also use my feet, right, both, right, both, as if I was playing a real drum set. lying around the house and make your own little drum set. Two buckets really can do the trick. There's your four drums. Here's your cymbal. If you go to world music and instrument making, Craig Woodson, you'll find other creative ways of making a drum set. He showed me how to take an ordinary plastic golf container. You put the golf club in here inside your golf bag, cut it in half, and you got melodic drumsticks. <laughs>